So it's going to be hey, everybody. Quick, 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 quick. exciting news. Gather around. I'm here um, with Ace, and we're here to support homeowner Monica Kenny. I had lost my job in 2010. I was able to make payments on my mortgage until September of 2010. Well, I am outraged that my neighbors are being evicted. And now we find out the evictions are illegal. And like 84%, according to Phil Ting's report. Um, in January of 2011, I was told I was going into the foreclosure process, um, but that uh, Wells Fargo, my lender, would be interested in working with me. Well, I'm outraged that the mayor and the district attorney and the city attorney are letting this happen to our neighbors. Where's City Hall? Um, in June of 2011, on the 27th, they offered me a forbearance agreement um, but because I was going through what is now being termed as dual tracking, my home went to auction the following day um, in a packet of homes to Fannie Mae. Dual tracking is when you're talking to one department about a loan modification and another department is stabbing you in the back. Essentially, I was offered payment, a, a, a payment um, program through Wells Fargo in writing, made payment on it. Um, and the following day they turned around and let the home go at auction. Um, in the side of San Francisco, it's pretty alarming how many illegal foreclosures uh, are going on, uh, not only for homeowners, but for renters. I love my home. It was the realization of a dream for me to buy this home. Um, my whole life I said I wanted to have a home in San Francisco. There are more available home stock than there are homeless people, so we don't accept the idea of people being put out for any reason. My father has said that I can crash on the couch for a little while, but I'm probably going to go to a shelter. She's not going no, anywhere. She's not going, no, not going, no, going anywhere. No. no. She's staying here. She's staying here. She's keeping her home. home. <laughs> She's keeping her home. Yeah. Fannie Mae agreed to sit down at the table with Monica Kenny, and they're going ahead with this eviction anyway, and that's wrong. Today, I am hoping that the eviction will be put off, which will give me another week to kind of iron out what my next steps are as far as litigating this case. Wells Fargo should not have sold her home at auction. Fannie Mae needs to rescind the sale and, and give it back to Wells Fargo, who, who can then offer her the her forbearance agreement. I basically emptied out my savings and my retirement to pay to retain this home. I received an agreement in writing, and all that I'm asking for is for that agreement to be honored. Well, we've got to stop them immediately. We've got to have a moratorium on foreclosures. So what have you learned from all this? Just the disparity between people who have money and people who don't is it's obscene, you know, how easily we can be ignored and swept aside because we don't, you know, have the funds to, to pursue these, you know, cases. I, I think the bulk of us you know, banding together and, and, you know, standing and saying that we are the communities that these are affecting and we are demanding that you listen to us, you know, is, is a great stride. Um, but for the most part, I just feel like I keep getting kicked. <laughs> so. Thank you very much. Thanks. Who's the spokesperson for this um, group? Um, you, Monica, myself, Grace, yeah. But she's the, the person who's in the Olympic. So who's the person? Who's Thank you so much. I really feel so um, hopeful and I feel so empowered in an essence because we have begun these dialogues because we have joined together, you know, and because we are continually saying that, you know, we are educated enough to recognize that, that what is going on is wrong. Um, so w what I do see is I see a progression towards a nation and hopefully a world where, you know, we've got a more level playing field and where, you know, corporations are not just sort of sweeping people aside. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
Everybody, exciting news. Okay, Tracy, okay. Fanny Mae's on the phone. Okay. Okay. Tracy? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. On the microphone, on the microphone. <laughs> Just a second. Here, wait, can we get, let's get the, the speaker thing up here. Let's do the call. Okay. Tracy? I'll go here in the mic. Oh. Okay. I need help with Fannie Mae. We um, had a great chance to postpone the lockout for two weeks in order to review the um, claims about Wells Fargo rescinding the sale. Mm-hmm. And um, we've already contacted the sheriff, so they should be not coming today. Yay! 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 Okay, so uh, how do you feel after this? <laughs> no, oh, I'm thrilled. I'm shocked. Which I wasn't any good. I can't really speak. I just no joke. I want a resolution about. to this, and I'm just so thankful for everybody who is standing here cheering and and who All wants right. me here. Oh my God! Yeah, they said they're going to mention it's a stop, it's two weeks stop, it's right only. Right there. Huh? That's okay. So, but now they have to work out a final agreement. So they have to go back to the old agreement. Yeah, essentially what she said is during the two-week process, they're going to look into uh, Wells Fargo's claims that they want to, um, you know, stand by the agreement that they offered me. And so that's where it stands now, that they're basically saying that you know, there was potentially a snafu with the paperwork, and if Wells Fargo is willing to work with the, the homeowner, then we're willing to give the home back. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> any words to, to any uh, I mean, to the people out there? Yes, that you can fight this, that there are people who care whether or not you remain in your home, that I'm so thankful for ACE. I'm so thankful for Occupy San Francisco. I'm so thankful for the community members that have agreed that this is a blight. There are people that you can go to. There are people who care about what's going on with you. You just need to reach out. Don't be ashamed. That was my problem is that I felt ashamed. And without Ace coming to me and helping me, I don't know where I would be. So you, there is help. Right on, Monica. All right. I'm taking a picture with Ace and Grace and Aaron. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, I gotta go back. My sister more. would say, hold your stomachs. <laughs> Can you oh, squeeze Sally in? Sally, too. Here wait, it's, Sally. It's not working for Chins you, up. Oh, <laughs> no, it's, it's not, not working. working. It's, it's not working. Sally. 